Hello YouTube, I am back with another sensor spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at the message sensor, some of the attributes you might want to use for it in Python. So, what is the uh, message sensor used for? Uh, well, it is used in conjunction with the message actuator. Uh, the message actuator will send out a message, and the message sensor uh, senses when that message is received. So, whenever the message sensor detects a message, it will turn positive and it will activate its attached controllers. So, in today's example, I am simply uh, essentially sending a key press from one sensor uh, to a separate scene. So, I have two scenes. I have one scene with a cube, and then I have an overlay scene with a sort of text prompt, and then a Suzanne model here. On the Suzanne model, I have a message sensor that is looking for the subject spin, and that is just simply going to apply a motion. In the main scene on the cube, I have it first at a scene, which is the overlay scene. I also have a keyboard sensor with pulse mode turned on, and that is attached to a message actuator that is sending out a message with the subject spin. So whenever I play the game, you can see there is the text prompt and the Suzanne model there. And whenever I press spacebar, Suzanne spins. So the message actuator is really going to be useful uh, for sending data or maybe actions between multiple scenes. So for instance, whenever the player uh, picks up a coin, you might send a message to the overlay scene to add to the uh, score display. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the sensor itself. Okay, so here we are looking at the message sensor, and this is a really basic one, so this is going to be a fairly short video about it. Of course, you can see that it has all of the same buttons as the Always Sensor does, and it has just one extra option here, and that is Subject. So the Subject field is basically telling the message sensor to only go positive whenever it receives a message that is carrying this subject. So for instance, we can leave this blank, and if we leave this blank, that means that this message sensor will go to positive and activate its attached controllers whenever any message is received. So it doesn't matter what the subject line is of the message, it will just set the sensor to positive and activate the attached controllers anyway. But if you type something in here, such as I had spin, that means that now this message sensor will only activate whenever it receives a message with the subject spin. And on the message actuator, this is this needs to match up with the subject field on the actuator, which means that all of the spelling and capitalization has to be exactly the same. So you can see I have spin here, I have spin here. Okay, and so that's a look at the sensor itself. So now we're going to hop over into Python and look at some of the multiple attributes you might want to use for it over there. Okay, so here we are in Python, and you can see that we get the sensor the same way as all of the others. Uh, we only have one configuration attribute, and that is subject. And this is exactly the same as entering a subject in that subject field. Uh, this will either return or it will take a string. So here you can see I am assigning the subject that the sensor is looking for and I am uh, setting it to look for the message hello world. Moving on we have the status attributes, the first of which is subjects. And this will return all of the subjects that this sensor has received. So next we have bodies. And this is the same as subjects, except instead of returning all of the subjects that the sensor has received, this returns all of the bodies that the sensor has received. If we look at the uh, message actuator, you'll see we not only have subject, but we also have a body. Uh, so we can put in uh, text or other information in the body field. And so bodies will just simply return uh, all of the bodies that this sensor has received. So this may be useful, for instance, if you want to send a certain property, uh, which might be, say, 
score. So you could send the score property out with a message, and in your Python script, you could check the bodies that the sensor has received, and then you could uh, get the score that has been sent with that message. So next we have frame message count. And this is how many messages this sensor has received within this last frame. Uh, so this is really only useful if you have uh, multiple message actuators that might trigger the same sensor. Uh, so for example, if the sensor's subject line was empty, and you had uh, multiple message actuators, you could then see how many messages the sensor has received with frame message count. And this is going to return an integer, so that'll be 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth. Okay, and that is a look at the message sensor. Again, that's a really basic sensor. There's not a whole lot to it, uh, but it does allow you to send information in between multiple scenes, which uh, can prove to be fairly useful. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to try and help you out. If you would like to see all of the attributes that this sensor has, check out the link in the description. Also, if you'd like to suggest a future tutorial, there is a link in the description for that as well. Next time, we're going to be looking at the mouse sensor. But until then, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.